Hi everyone. Now, uh, flying device. Now this is a fly a friend of mine sent me. Uh, basically asked me, uh, how, what is it? <laughs> it was a caught fish obviously. And uh, it wants to um, get some more or somehow work out what it's actually, what colours and what it tied with. And now I've had a good look at it. Now you can see it's, it's a very, it's a claret. The, the actual, the body's claret, hackle, or the, so the wing is deer hair, but it's claret, the part of it's missing. Uh, now, I don't think you can just catch the light there, but this goes a kind of all of this hackle, it's an unusual. I mean, it's a kind of caddis part. But I like tying stuff like this, this is a bit of fun. So I'm going to be tying that fly. Now, uh, that's a size 14, so I'll get a size 14 hook. I'm using a full mill hook. This is uh, a, basically a, an all-purpose medium, size 14. Now, I'm actually going to come in a wee bit closer. Try and level the, the hook out. There we go. Just a wee touch closer so you can maybe see it a wee bit better. Now I'm going to use a dark brown uh, uni thread. So first thing I'm going to do, take the length out. Put the wax through it. Into Stop it squeaking. It's right there. So basically what we're going to do is put a layer of thread down the shank. And the body is claret as I say. And you're right to the back of the hook there. Now I'm just going to use a, this is a claret here. It's called bleeding claret. It's got a wee touch of red in it. It's a lovely turban. Uh, but the main colour is uh, the claret and the body so I'm just going to dub this on. Reasonably tight, so I've got a nice shape in the body. Once I've got it on the thread, then I slide it up and get it anchored to the hook by just basically doing a turn or so. Now I could quickly go up and then come back down a wee bit just to thicken the body. Cara's body is a wee bit heavier, so. And this will help. There's no rib on this fly, this will help actually. Uh, hold it together a wee bit better. Just check now. Looks fine. Now I'm going to keep the shape by just trimming away some of the extra long fibres. There you go. So a nice shape in the body. Now the wing claret, I've got some roe deer dyed claret. Now there is a thorax cover in this so what I'm going to do is put enough deer hair in that I can pull some of it over for a thorax cover. So we do check. Cut it. Now there we are. I'm not going to stack it, I'm just going to tie it straight on. To the back of the hook, which is there. The row deer is a it's a good deer here to actually use but it's not the strongest, I meaning it will wear through time, through fishing anyway. Now I've trimmed it, I've got the wing length and my finger and thumb, it's going to come through, tie it on the top, and then cut the thread turns into the cut ends. Very, to keep it as tight as you can, don't let the wing go until you make, to make sure that's tied in. See how it's sitting? That's fine, that looks okay. Now for the, the body, Oh, sorry, the thorax. I'm going to be using this here. Uh, basically, a sunburst dye, sunburst coloured uh, seals for. Again, this one's from F and F. Now, what I'm going to do, because I've got quite a, you see, there's a wee bit of a taper there. It's much easier to just take a thread to the bottom of it and work up into it, rather than actually try to work the way down, because you'll just slip. This way it makes it easier. When you're happy, you can take away the excess. Just stroke this back. Throw anything going forward, throw it back. Now this is a bit here where I want a thorax cover, so I'm going to bring some of the deer hair over. You can see, just like that. That's enough. Not, don't take too much away. Just going to tighten up a wee bit more, that's just a wee bit slack. I 
There's not much room here to tie all this on here, so you want to give yourself plenty. You could fold this back if you want it. But I'm going to take it off because there is a hackle there. Trim away again, it's neat a cut as you can. I wax my thread, just draw back in and it's going forward. Just tidy this area up for your hackle. One fibre there, I'm just going to trim that away. It looks not too bad at that. Trim away some of these long fibres. I mean, it is an unusual type of fly, like. So that's why it's more of dry. It is more of dry, I would say, than anything. Now the hackle I'm using here, this is this is a badger dyed. It's a similar colour. It's a sooty olive, as I would call it. It's too long that fibre. Uh, is this a better length? I lifted up the wrong hackle, I think. Uh, this would be better for the size of fly. I don't want it too long. Let's check. That's fine. Just leave it short down here. It's going to bear some of the stem. This is from a Hebert Minor Cape. I dyed it. Uh, a really dark olive or a sooty olive as they call it. I'm just going to fold the fibre so that you can see the lead the edge. It just brings the hackle fibres together. It means then I can do one turn in front of the other. And all you have to do is just lightly just pull it back. Make sure there's no hackles going forward. Oops. I'll do another turn. Work hard this light then. Do a few turns in. I'm going to fold it. It's quite a thin stem on this, so I'm just going to fold it back. Just like keep it. Just keep your thread tight at this point. And I'll just quick finish. Just tighten. Turn that away. And break off that. You get neater cut times if you can do that. And there we are. There's the original. Uh, close enough. Uh, it's a nice enough colour. My novice is a wee bit dirty, it's been well used, well chewed, so it's obviously works. Uh, probably the questions would be, is it a dry fly? Is it it's probably more a dry fly than it is a, a wet fly though, but I wouldn't say you couldn't fish as a kind of subsurface fly. But here we are. Now all I'm going to do is a wee drop of varnish. Slightly. And there we are. And that's basically a. Well, a tie, there's a fly called the. Uh, it's, it's just a brown brown caddis pattern. They call it the chocolate drop. Uh, this is basically a claret version of that fly, very similar to it. Uh, you just doing the wee thorax here saves a bit of sort of bulk anyway. When you're tying this small, you need to try and figure out a decent way actually. Um, tying that in without causing too much issues. It, it's easy enough. It's just working out the best way. There's a long fibre in there I'm not keen on. There we are. And that's it. Nice wee caddis pattern. It's a good idea in there or two with the thorax. I mean it will certainly work. Uh, so anyway I hope you enjoyed that and again thanks for watching.